Welcome back to the Traders Network Show, broadcasting worldwide on equities.com. We're in Davos, Switzerland, covering the 2019 World Economic Forum. And my next guest is Mark Berninger. Mark, how are you doing? Yeah, hi. Nice to be here at the Caspian Week here uh, during the World Economic Forum in Davos. Well, it's great to have you. Mark, you're a board member of the uh, crypto, uh, excuse me if I get this, Crypto Finance Group. Is yes. that correct? Yeah, exactly, exactly. And when I hear you guys are the first Swiss regulated investment firm on the crypto side here in Switzerland. Uh, we're the first and so far only fully regulated asset manager in Switzerland. And as you can imagine, it opens a lot of doors, especially traditional big institutional investors. They are looking for boring, fully <laughs> regulated companies, so that helps us a lot. And how's Momentum been since you've been, been, been authorized? Um, I mean, we worked for it uh, roughly one and a half years. So literally, we built up everything from scratch. We have now roughly 50 people. Wow. And it was a long road to go and uh, definitely not the end. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your focus on the advisory side? Because you, you, tech, you for the most part, advise funds and institutions and even high net worth investors on how to apply their funds and their money. Is that correct? Yeah, we help uh, traditional institutional investors to move into the whole cryptocurrency space. That's uh, our main uh, uh, ambition and vision. We have three divisions. One is doing crypto brokerage, where we do brokerage solutions mm -hmm. for institutional investors moving into crypto. We do uh, asset management and we do storage, always focusing on qualified and institutional investors. Well, listen, we've only got a, a few minutes left, but you know, for the Caspian Week, which we, we both met here, and, and I thought we just I had to get you on camera, um, can you give us the Caspian Week top three things to know, both on the, the pitfalls or things that you should watch out for if you're looking to invest in crypto, uh, either institutionally on the block chain side or on the front end side. And on the flip side of it, part two is, what are you bullish on? So let's start with the first part. Yeah. What are some areas that people be, worried, be be cautious of on, on, on investing? Yeah, I would say even if it's crypto, the rules are not different than in the traditional world. I mean, if you invest in a shitty team with a shitty idea, <laughs> even uh, if they have the best marketing material ever, it's still shitty. So that's <laughs> why uh, don't just follow the marketing material. <laughs> on the other side, I would say we see a huge revolution happening, similar to the dot-com uh, 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 wave we saw uh, in 1999, so now we're in the post-bubble phase, but most of the real foundations where we now all live in uh, are, yeah, came out after the bubble. So I think we're in the most exciting times in the whole well, space. You know what, I, 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 you both were here last year, yeah? I was here last year, and I would say that the attendance here was about 10% of what it was last year. I mean, it was chaos on the streets. I felt like it was in Times Square in New York, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. But I'll say this, everybody who had a, a, a Bitcoin wallet, uh, had the means to get here and was trying to find a way to make something of cryptocurrency. But what we found this year, at least from my experience, is quality versus quantity. Meaningful Definitely. engagements and Definitely. meaningful, you, you, it, 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 the, the, the sifting went through and, and the people here have, have actually are making movement and strides both on regulation and on the enterprise integration side. So would, uh, would you agree with that? Yeah, definitely. It's far more about substance. It's far more about sustainable uh, projects and also far less about speculation, which is great, I think. I think so, too. All right, so your top three picks for, for 2019, 2020, what are they? Yeah, I would say, I mean, I'm a Bitcoin holder and believer, so I think uh, Bitcoin is not the MySpace of uh, cryptocurrencies. It's ultimately the foundation of everything we see in the space. And then I would say there are several new emerging projects. That's the second uh, uh, focus where I would uh, spend most of the time. And then do we have do we have do we have a specific industries like the uh, healthcare and blockchain, the healthcare data, uh, supply chain? Where 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 would you focus at? I would say we see a lot of interesting developments in the logistics supply chain space ah. because there it definitely makes sense. Hyperledger is making big big strides there. That's a good they're, example. They're exactly. Yep, yep. And then also, I think ultimately, and that's something a lot of people don't really want to hear, I think in uh, government, uh, we see a huge uh, potential where blockchain can really change the whole system. Do you think, I, I, you know, and I've experienced this, is that I'm finding, I'm seeing that governments are accepting innovation on the blockchain space because they need to figure out how to create regulation around this, this, this tsunami of technology and momentum that's being generated. It's unlike anything we've ever seen before. Yeah, that's definitely the case. On the other side, I mean, ultimately, blockchain is about decentralization. So I don't know if all governments are really that deep into this uh, decentralized way of doing business. So I think on the one side, uh, we read a lot about blockchain projects in, in governments. On the other side, I think it's also a huge threat to certain governments. So it will be exciting how the whole thing evolves. You know, I believe there's going to be a hybrid in the middle. I believe, you know, it's decentralization. It's the polar opposites. Eventually, it's going to have to balance in the middle. Uh, that's what I believe, but yeah. we'll see where it goes. 
Nobody I, knows. Nobody knows. Um, but you want to tell everybody where to go to? Do you have a website? Uh, yeah, cryptofinance.ch. Uh, it's a Swiss company. Uh, as I said, we only focus on qualified and institutional investors, but there you will find far more information. Well, I gotta tell you, you have a terrific reputation in the street here, so I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate to have you out here. Thank you so much, <laughs> Mark, for coming much. on the show. Thank you. Let's get back in here and have a little more fun. What do yeah, you say? Definitely. Sounds good. You're watching the Traders Network Show. I'm Matt Bird. We'll be right back after these commercial messages with more guests. Forum is brought to you by Salt, providing fintech solutions for digital assets. Visit them at saltlending.com. Special thanks to Russia House and RossCongress.org for hosting our show here in Davos in the World Economic Forum. And a special shout out to Burst IQ for their expert commentary in blockchain and technology.